Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve simultaneous set of equations. Alpha plus beta equal to 2, alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 equal to 272. We have to find the value of alpha beta. And most important thing, alpha and beta are real numbers. So let's say start. You can see second equation is, this is equation 1. And this one is equation 2. It is having alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. So somewhere we will take alpha square plus beta square whole square. Let's start by squaring both sides of equation 1. So let me write alpha plus beta whole square is equal to 2 square. A square, so alpha square plus beta square plus twice alpha beta is equal to 4. So from this equation, I will find out alpha square plus beta square. That is equal to 4 minus 2 alpha beta. This is equation number 3. Now, if you see alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. So, I am taking alpha square plus beta square whole square. I am just writing the expansion of this alpha square plus beta square whole square. So a square that means alpha power 4 b square so beta power 4 plus twice ab so twice alpha square beta square. Now you can see from equation 3 I will put alpha square plus beta square from equation 1 equation 2 I will write 272. So let me put so that will be equal to 4 minus 2 alpha beta whole square is equal to from equation 2 its value is 272 plus twice alpha square beta square. So let us expand this whole square also. So 4 square is 16 plus this is square 2 alpha beta. So it will give us 4 alpha square beta square minus 2 ab. So 16 alpha beta equal to 272 plus 2 alpha square beta square. Take all the terms to left side and simplify it. So 2 alpha square beta square minus 16 alpha beta and 16 minus 272 that will give us 256 equal to 0. Now we can see it is divisible by 2. So alpha square beta square minus 8 alpha beta minus half of 256 128 is equal to 0. See this is quadratic equation in alpha beta. Alpha beta whole square minus 8 alpha beta minus 128. So I am not substituting here alpha beta equal to y. So what I will do I will directly write alpha beta is equal to now quadratic formula. Minus b so it will be 8 plus minus square root b square. So 8 square 64 minus 4ac so 4 times 1 times negative 128 so it will be 128 times 4 so that is 512 this whole divided by 2a so 2 it is equal to 8 plus minus root 512 plus 64 so that value is 576 divided by 2. So that is square root of 576 is 24. So I will write 8 plus minus 24 divided by 2. So that value will come out. If I will take plus sign then it will be minus 16 over 2. So minus 8 and if I will take minus sign so that value will come out. 
32 over 2. By taking plus sign, it is 32 over 2, so 16. And minus sign, then 8 minus 24, that will give us minus 16 over 2, so minus 8. So there are basically two values, negative 8 and 16. Okay, that is alpha beta. Now, this is our answer? No, it is not our answer. Why? Because of we have to cross examine for which value of alpha and beta alpha beta will be real. See, ultimately the point is alpha and beta should be real. So we will cross examine whether for which value of alpha beta product, whether for 16 or minus 8, that product will be real. So that alpha beta must be real. Let's find out the value of exact alpha and beta. So for that purpose, I will use one identity that is a standard one. Alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. This is one standard identity which I am using here. Now put the value of alpha plus beta. There were two values of alpha beta. Let me write here. Alpha beta is equal to 16 and minus 8. This is we will cross examine. Okay. So alpha plus beta whole square. So I will write 2 whole square minus 4 alpha beta. Let's consider case of alpha beta 16. So it will be 4 times 16, 4 minus 64, minus 60. See whole square is minus 60, that means complex solution, imaginary solution. So alpha minus beta will be equal to, if I will write then plus minus square root of minus 60. That means plus minus iota root 60. So if you will simplify this further, alpha and beta will come out complex solution or imaginary solution. So we will reject this value of alpha and beta. Complex solution, so rejected. Now come to second value. This, this was for alpha beta 16. Now let's consider alpha beta negative 8. Same formula I will apply alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. So that will be 2 square minus 4 times negative 8. So it will be 2 square plus 32, 36. So alpha minus beta is equal to plus minus 6. Now let us check the value of alpha and beta for alpha beta negative 8. Here I will get the real solutions. Let's find out alpha plus beta is 2 and alpha minus beta is plus minus 6. I am writing here plus 6. Then we will solve for alpha beta is equal to alpha minus beta is equal to minus 6. Let's solve. If I will add both the equations, then 2 alpha equal to 8. So alpha is equal to 4. If I will add, then beta will get cancelled out. 2 alpha is equal to 8. Alpha will be equal to 4. Put there alpha equal to 4. Then or subtract equation. Then beta will come out. Or let me write here. Subtract. Then 2 beta will be equal to negative 4. So beta will be equal to negative 2. Both values are real. If you will take product, it is coming out minus 8. Now come to second equation. Add. 2 alpha will be equal to minus 4. So alpha will be equal to negative 2. And you will subtract then 2 beta is equal to 8. Beta is equal to 4. 
okay so our final answer becomes see this 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 is actually real solution so our final answer will become i will write alpha beta is equal to minus 8 16 will be rejected because from alpha beta 16 alpha beta equal to 16 there we were getting complex solution or imaginary solution okay so we cannot consider alpha and beta complex valued thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel if you like this olympiad problem then give like impression also